Trini. Hello, my darling. How are you? I'm great, thank you. It's a new year. It's a new us. This is the ultimate confession. This is something I always do at the beginning of January. What? Rethink my wardrobe. We all have different locations. We try to spread ourselves out. And it's really difficult when you exceed your spread. I am exceeding my spread, which is a, an insane thing for me to say, but I'm feeling totally overwhelmed by the amount of clothes I have. What I tend to do at this time of year is I tend to kind of reposition my clothes so they feel fresh. Get out everything that I won't wear the next few months, just so I see what I should be wearing in this temperature and for the woman I'm feeling today. Certain things are definitely summer, winter, but some things like, so I have Serena Buttes that are really thin and they've gone into what's gonna be a summer wardrobe. So this area is where I spend most of my time with the coats. So I wanna have everything here. And when I look through trousers, I mean, it's like, I have two pairs of Zara jeans. That's my favorite Zara jean. I wouldn't get rid of the Zara jean. So I'm just tucking that in. I realized I've done the whole routine with a kind of no waste moment, but that's just me being <laughs> paranoid. But do they need to be hung with the other Zara jean or could they be put away? They could be put away somewhere. I've got my trouser that over the years has got lost in the size of my wardrobe. My favorite J. Crew wool trouser, which I wish I could duplicate. These ones here, they're very ripped and they're the kind of rip that now my daughter has as a rip. And I believe some of you asked about mutton versus lamb. Yes. I'm just gonna put it out there. A rip when it's a really open rip in your thigh and it begins to bulge out your thigh is a moment. So that is going. That's on the going floor. And there'll be girls in the office who will love those. And you have to be careful to shave your legs in the right holes, don't oh, you? Oh, that's so true. <laughs> These I do like. I've used for Closet Confessions. They're from um, me and M, but I don't wear them often because they're a bit short for me. And whenever I put them on, I always cross my leg and think they're too short. Mm -hmm. I am too tall for them. They are going. This is similar to the grey, but for some reason, I think these are a bit longer. Mm. You know, I just think they are, so I think they're going to stay. But let's revisit how I wear that to so make sure it has a place. Yeah, and when you can see them in a place, you know you need to think about them. Yeah, but if you just had eight things that you don't want to get rid of and you haven't worn them within the year and challenge yourself that week, to wear three of them and find a new outfit in which to wear them. Time to say goodbye. Not to those lovely cost trousers, which I can never find again. But what I do need to do is they're a little bit short and I keep thinking I want to take them down. So that actually, because I keep taking them out, putting them on a thing, they're a bit too short. They need to go to? A Susanna. A Susanna. These I hadn't worn all year and I wore them the other day and I always feel I look short-legged and long-bodied and they're low-waisted. And I don't have many low-waisted jeans and I'm on the fence about them. So I think we have to try them on once more and think, actually, should they stay or should they go now? Now these, I haven't worn at all. And I love these. And I think, why haven't I worn these this year? I want to wear them. So I'm going to put them out and think, how can I wear them maybe with a red jumper? These I love, but I think I want to take them up and make them cropped. Yeah. yeah so those are going to be a crop because I don't wear them as they are. I have this suit, which we all love. I got two pairs of trousers with it. And I thought to myself, I'll get two because I'll make one of them cropped and one full length. I thought to myself, well, I'm never going to wear it full length. But why I'm going to keep them is because this pair here, I was in the hairdresser and I put hair dye on them. It didn't come out. So very luckily, I have another pair full length that I can crop. Good idea. Yeah, I think that's worth keeping. You wear it so often. Worth keeping. This is the nappy <laughs> bottom yellow trouser, which S. Susanna has to deal with because whenever I put these on, they give me a bottom, which I just need to tell you, it looks like I'm wearing a nappy. So I need to see if there's any way S. Susanna can resurrect what that is as a trouser. Everyone needs to have a great black jacket in their wardrobe. This is the one I did on Closet Confessions for yeah. Party Special. Another jacket I found the other day that I haven't worn for ages is this. I treat this with the reverence that I might treat an expensive jacket because the cut was good, the shape was good, mm. the button was in the right place. One of my favorite Zara blazers, it's I think. It's such a good Zara blazer. And that's been slightly neglected. So I want to just put that on the let me think today how I'm gonna reinvent and wear that. Mm -hmm. It's an old friend, but a good friend. This is a 20 year old Prada jacket because I can't even do it as a single breasted when it's double breasted. It's too small. Look. I think keep it for Lila. 
Okay, so then keeping it for Lila is not on this floor. Okay. That's it, it's going downstairs. This I had as my sweatpants set. I went through a phase during lockdown of thinking, I don't own sweatpants, let me buy some more. And I have hardly worn them. These ones here, which I loved, and I loved the flop of them and they're the Zara ones, are going because this sludge is not my sludge, it's somebody else's sludge. These I do like because I love the colour of the grey and I love that sleeveless sweatshirt from Zara because it had the shoulder pads. So mm -hmm. I'm going to keep that. Sweatpants I got from Champion and they're from Japan and I love the colour and they're the ones I wear all the time. But you know when you have neatly folded things you never unfold? Yeah, because you've never worn them. <laughs> I've never worn them and they're cosy and they're big and I love them and I thought they're wide and they... What do I do? Keep. You think yeah. so? Those, on the other hand, those look manky already, I feel. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. get rid of mm -hmm. those. Um, I want to get rid of These are the ones that Lila made me buy, and they do give me the extra willy, but she determined that I needed something cool. Ah, oh, these are cashmere sweatpants. I had no idea. I think I need to fold in sets the top and the matching ones, because mm. I keep forgetting I have them as a set, don't I? The grey jumpers aren't here, because you know where they are? Lila's room? Lila land. Okay, let me just see if they're there. Is it that? Is it that? She's got it at school. I love me and I'm sweatpants and I have really wide ones and I liked the wide ones for when I fly and stuff. I don't need this many, so I think I've got to just say goodbye. So I'm gonna say goodbye to the gray. These are the tight at the bottom, which I like. Those are black and white. There's two blues here. So there's a blue, which is plain with a high waist, which I like. I like those mm -hmm. ones, but they're dirty. <sighs> Trini. <sighs> and then these are the with a red, which I quite like, which I'll keep. Okay. Okay, fine. All right, that's good. This is where I keep the dresses I wear most. I look at them and I think, why haven't I worn some of these? So I love this. This is really nice. And I don't know why we're, I'm going to keep it that. I have had this black dress and we can see if it still fits. 30 years. Ali Capolino. 30 year old dress. Wow. So beautifully cut. I do wear this from Zara. I yeah. do wear this one from Zara. These are good. And these I wear a lot. These are all Zara here. This I haven't worn this season. And I'm thinking, I love that look. It was really good with my Prada burgundy boots. Mm -hmm. So nice. I want to get that out. I'm just, I want to play with that actually. All right. I've got so a lot of covers to get through. I mean, this top I wear in the winter. This I haven't worn much and I love it it's black yeah. but it is beautiful and I got a Susanna to make it wider here so if you've got a really beautiful top you can always do that secret inverted extra bit of fabric either in the same fabric or something that complements mm. it it's one of my favorite tops I know and I've hardly worn it I know but I love like just even seeing it in the cupboard it just looks gorgeous yeah <laughs> should we just buy clothes so they can hang in the yeah. cupboard <laughs> vampire's wife I've worn a bit this I've worn a lot that I haven't worn much and I went to wear in New York and I couldn't find a way to wear it. So the only way that I successfully worn this and I bought in the sale this year is with a white shirt underneath and my white and my silver leggings. I don't know if I have to cut it and this beautiful sort of thing that goes as a V in the front. I think what I in fact might be better is at the moment it's longer in the front than in the back and I need to make it shorter in the front and longer in the back exactly what I need to do. So where's it going? Susanna. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh yeah, this is good. Now. Oh, it's your friend. It's my friend. The thing about this friend, how much have I worn it? Nearly every day. Yeah. That's why I got it sister. <laughs> I mean, they look like twin sisters. This is where shopping insanity goes, but I realize how much I wore it. My best friend said to me, you've got to buy another one because you wear this literally every other day, Trini. Mm. And in New York, I wore it every other day. It was like, it saved me when I was tired. It saved me when I was jet lagged. This is another of my, what I call my classic, when I'm wearing a pair of jeans and I want something that's going to be wow. You know, it's that top half wow moment. This is Calvin Klein. I bought it three years ago yeah. and I love it. And I do wear it a lot. This is from Solace London. Yeah. And I love this and I was going to tie these up and at the end everyone said don't tie them up because it would ruin the sleeve and that just falls over and i got to deal with it. But then could you put something in the yeah, sleeve? Yeah, could you put something glittery in the sleeve? Is that an Estee's Anna moment? That's I think so it might be. be. That's, I'm not wearing it because this is, if it changed I'd wear it more. Yes. Little difference in the criteria. This I realise I haven't worn for ages mm -hmm. and I love this and I'm thinking why haven't I worn it so I'm going to put it on now and I don't know how many of you saw this. <laughs> If I wear it now with this nude underneath, which is usually I wear bright white, but mm. let me show you a way that the only way that I can wear it with this underneath. So the rest is fine. Shoes up here are fine. They're the ones I wear most in the winter. They're the pleasurey, which I always wear. 
Um, I don't wear these much anymore, the blue, but I feel that they're very good when I have jeans and I can wear them in the summer. Mm -hmm. So that's that. These are shirts I wear a lot. It's like jeans and a nice top moment. Yeah, they're the nice there. tops. It's easy peasy lemon easy. squeezy. But we never see these covers because they're them. always behind oh, us. Yeah. This is my Serena Butte land. They live here. And I did look through and think, would there be any that I would donate? But I wear all of them, actually. Yeah, and, you do. You know, it's just difficult because even though you might think, how can you wear four particular shades of turquoise? <laughs> Sorry, I even look at that like, oh, are you f***ing kidding, Trini? But that has yellow. That has yellow going <laughs> They're different through. finishes. And this has blue going through. I don't want summer and winter too near each other because otherwise I'm not seeing oh I can wear that now in winter I'm just not seeing it mm -hmm. now I'm aspiring a couple of things here with um, leopard print I love leopard print so I keep buying it now this I love from Zara but the sleeves are a bit short and I always yeah. put it on and the sleeves too short so that is going and this I love from Zara but I haven't worn it once and I just don't think it's me and I've got better blouses this from Zara I do like and whenever I put it on I kind of feel not muttony I feel the opposite I feel if my hair is straight mm -hmm. and a bit dirty I look something like French didn't try too hard. I'm keeping it for an entirely emotional concept. This, on the other hand, is the leopard print I should be wearing. The print tick, the length of sleeve tick, the shape of the, the front and back tick. That's a keeper. This is something I bought in the sale and I've hardly worn. Maybe I haven't seen it. So now I'm gonna take that out. It's an impulse, but it's not a stayer. And that is going the next section. This is really my summer clothes that I keep up here because I actually, if I put these all downstairs, I wouldn't have enough room. And this is also white shirts. So everything white, I decided to make a difference because I love white shirts. But I mean, how often do I wear a white shirt now? Yeah, maybe once every fortnight. Yeah, I used to wear a white shirt every single day. Do you remember the River Island yeah. white shirt obsession I had? Yes. I've got a white Zara jumper because I think I always need a white jumper and I always need a white jumper. I don't know if I'm gonna wear that. I is think it, it's totally you. Is it me, Molly? Yeah. Do I ever wear it, Molly? No. No, thank you. Very quick. Is it me? Oh, yeah. Do I wear it? No. Freedom! Freedom! It's such a good feeling when you do it, girls. Such a good feeling. Such a cute. Oh, how many have this little problem in their wardrobes? The label is still on it. And it's too late to send it back. I just think the detail is beautiful. Mm. So if I love that and I want to keep it, what here should I get rid of that's similar? This I really want to keep wearing because it's off-white. This I loved. This is a really pretty top and I'd love to just think, I could wear that again if it fits. Can we put that in the pile of think, what should there be? This as well, I haven't worn at all and it's beautiful. This, we can't say we don't love it. Yeah. Really cute. But you want to get rid of it? Yeah, you don't wear it that much. I don't wear it that much, do I? Oh, hallelujah, this, I love it. I kept it because it's the only jumper like this and it was unusual, but I don't think I can get it on. That's my f most favorite top yes, that I wear. Gorgeous. And that's summer top. All right, all these are my sleeveless things, which I'm living in now and I love, and I'm not gonna go through, <laughs> okay. All right, so here, can't get rid of it, love it. This is a pink suit, which I think I wore this summer. A Zara fabulously made classic. Mm -hmm. I will have this for a few years and I had it for four years. I haven't worn it this year, but I wear it with the orange. And I think that look I will wear again. And I think unlike the cream jacket, I feel this has more punch. Then I've got this little suit from Zara. Do we love this suit or not? Because the zip keeps going. Oh. Time to say goodbye. <laughs> Can we just talk about why I don't wear what I'm about to show you? Because it's so beautiful. Because I've got too many things in my cupboard, I'm not remembering things that are just exquisitely made that I bought and I spent quite a lot of money on. Yeah, the sleeve. I know. And you ladies can fall in love. Remind me to wear it when I don't want to wear it. Okay, this is a pink suit, which I do wear occasionally. So I'm going to keep that. This we've done for Closet Confessions, all right? But when I look back at that film, it wasn't my favourite. It does go with a lot of things. I know you're thinking about Closet Confessions. It does go with a lot of things. Okay. <laughs> all right, this is the ill-fated green version of the blue suit from Camilla and Mark. And some of you might know it. And I should think of a way I can wear it this winter, shouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah? Maybe one of your new Prada tops. Let's go with there right now and discover that concept because that's a nice idea to do the mixed print on print. So I could either do that. Oh, I love that which one. Which is kind of fun. I could do that. Yeah. And I've got that purple. So that's going to be reset the clock. Okay. Yes! Getting done here. Are we feeling good? Are you thinking about your own wardrobe? Let's keep up the momentum and the energy, hey? I've had this suit from J. Crew for eight years. Yep. 
um, and it's so good. It's made very well, and I always wear it in the winter, and I'll never stop wearing it. So that's like a solid suit. The tablecloth. When you make comments at the end of this film, just say to me, yes, Trini, the green check Utico suit, you did resemble a tablecloth, or not. What about keeping the trousers? Trousers, yes. Yeah. The trousers were good, weren't they? I yeah. think it's the combination of the two. Yeah. And I think other people I can see wearing it. This, I sort of keep wanting to get rid of, but the color is it's unique. It's a great color. It's a really good mm. color, up our cloth gosh. Um, this is a suit which shouldn't be here, it should be over there because we love it. It's the LK Bennett yes. suit, which is like the Essentials Antwerp suit, yep. which is just great for wearing now. My God, look at the mess. <laughs> this is my Zoot suit from Zara that I bought this summer. Good purchase this summer. Mm. Perennial, heavy linen, doesn't crease hugely, and I'll keep wearing it. Um, so that's staying. This is a little black jacket. I haven't seen you wear that for ages. ages. Shall I keep it and give it one more go? Yes. Because mm -hmm. it is like black and white classic. We know the leopard print. We know the blue. Yeah. We know the really old Celine jacket, which I'll wear. I keep wanting to get rid of this. And it's really tricky because I have a few blazers in blue, but they're all different. And mm. if you get navy blue wrong, if you do like, if you do that blue with that blue when you're doing navy blue. Oh yeah, you, you know, can you really look, see it, that it difference. It shows up more than any other color. Yeah. Now bags, I know that I fell in love with Lutz Morris a while ago and I will always wear those bags. They're great and they work well. And what's important for me is keeping them well. So I bought some things the other day. I bought, and you can get them all different sizes from Amazon and they're like 12 pounds, they're bag containers. They're great. But these are really good for things like this one. And now I have one of these inside it and it keeps its shape beautifully and it used to be crumpled. Mm. So really good investment for 12 pounds to keep a nice bag. Those are fine. This one, you know how often I wear and that's absolutely fine. Um, this, <laughs> I decided I never want to buy a new bag again. So let me buy secondhand. Molly's just shaking her head and you know, Jemima's just- It's just so eyes. not you. I know it's so not me and I thought it was so chic. And I spent so much money on it, I cannot begin to tell you. I mean, like, okay. So let's go to Je regrette rien, mais je regrette. Sac numéro deux, je regrette beaucoup. Ça, c'est le Chanel. Et la Chanel avait éclaté. No. Et je achète la Chanel, c'est la Trini London Yellow. Et je dis à moi, ah, t'es Trini London Yellow. Achet, achet, achet. Uh, Vestia Collective, uh, écris-moi. Et dit, c'est un petit problème avec le sac. Et Molly et Louise et tout le office téléphoné Vestia Collective, c'est pas de téléphone et numéro. Et un email, c'est pas de email. C'est le, le customer service, c'est OK? Basically, what that means is don't buy from Mestia Collective because they have a terrible customer service. I had to get this bag. It said there's one problem with it. It wouldn't, the pictures wouldn't work. I got the bag and the thing about the bag is, I can't do this now because I'll get the red lip on it, but I went like this and it smells <laughs> Then going down here, I got this. I've never seen it before. I know, I got it in the secondhand shop and it's from Fendi. Oh. And I got it for $60. Cute. And I just thought it's a really cute little bag. Yeah. Everything will fall out. Okay, <laughs> it's totally impractical. It's really filthy. But I just thought it was a very cute little bag for evening. Yeah. yeah. These I love. I haven't worn yet. I got them in the sale at Lots Morris and I gave to wear them. This one, Lots Morris gave me because they brought out this bag and I'd asked to make one in silver or gold and she sent it to me and it's a very lovely present and I will wear it. This was a bit of an impulse buy as well. I, well, not impulse because I looked at it for two months. And then when I had to exchange something at Prada, it was still there. Also great if you could match a coat to it. Then I'm just going <laughs> mad. Okay. It's like I've turned into the Yeti man. <laughs> Haven't finished the Vestia Collective shop up. This is where I made a mistake again. And it was like a bag for um, it's a laptop. Case. laptop. And it has this chain, mm -hmm. but as a bag around here, it's too big. And I literally thought it was going to be this size. Yeah. I thought how great I don't have an orange bag that size. Oh, My God. laptop will travel in a lot of style. <laughs> um, so then I have a mishmash. This bag is going and I haven't worn it for five years, so it's going. Then we have this, which I haven't worn either. And I have my Hermes. Mm. So why would I ever want that? Whoa, mm -hmm. that's going. That was just, that was so easy for me sitting there for six months and in a flash, it went. Oh, and I feel so good about it. Um, these are expensive bags that I'll keep. This bag I love. I haven't worn it, but I feel it's a bit yeah. nearly a Trini London yellow and I will. These are classics. I've had this bag for now probably about 25 years from Prada. This is my mum's Hermes and I haven't got it fixed. And I know 
that Amir is going to turn around and tell me this will cost literally two thousand pounds. Yeah. But the original bags cost eight thousand pounds. So I'm thinking, do I get it restored? And I think I need bag rest restoration. Molly says to me, Trini, when you order the ice you know you can't return the bags, and I forget she says that, and I just. Do you think I'll use it? Would you take it on holiday with you? Oh, it's, it's a sequin. 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 I believe it's really oh. Okay, I'll keep it. This is my successful purchase yeah. from Vestia Collective. It's the cheapest. It was like £110. Very, very, very quickly. Vampire's Wife I Wear. Vampire's Wife I Wear. Alice Templey I wore in New York. Vampire's Wife I Wear. Victoria Beckham have it out because I'm going to wear it, Molly. Then this one is the one I'm going to do for the closet confessions. There it is. And we were looking for it. This is the uh, Giambi Savali for somewhere. This is for H&M. This is the Vampire's Wife. This is an old Stella McCartney that I'll keep for Lila. This is my Prada. I'll keep for Lila. This is a dress as Susanna maybe It's incredibly itchy. I've never worn it yet. I don't know what to do with it. This is the Zara one I always wear. This is the Templey one we talked about earlier. Zara one I always wear, but I haven't worn this year. This is something I do not wear from Rixo. I don't wear it. And this is another one I do not wear, and I know you love it, but I do not wear it from somewhere else. This is something that I might wear again. It's from Zara. This is Alice Templey, Alice Templey, Alice Templey, Alice Templey. This is a really old Prada one that my daughter told me was appalling thing and I shouldn't keep, right? Yeah. She said, I'll never wear it. I know she will. Lila, look at this film in five years time. You will love it when you have no breasts and you're a skinny little mini. It will look amazingly sexy. She'll be so embarrassed I said that. The White Zara. I'm not sure. A bit bag lady. Should it stay or should it go now, Marley? Should it stay or should it go now, Marley? Uh, would somebody cool. else have a nice home yeah. in it, Marley? This is, um, oh, I want to wear this. Yes. I'm going to wear this. Yeah, that I want Love to wear. That. Away. This I'm not going to wear. It's lovely. It's oh, the one I told. I know Sharon. it's fabulous. Mm. But actually, it was too big for me. It's a size L, and I haven't worn it. Yeah. So okay. let's give it to a nice home. Yeah. Vampire's wife, I haven't worn. I should be wearing that this oh, winter. Oh, I love that. I Is know. it cold? Yes. Oh. Oh. This dress. Oh, no, Lila will love that dress. Lila will love that dress. And this is a Balenciaga. I want Lila to love later, and she says she never will. And I'm keeping it, hoping she does, because I loved it when I was her age, and I wanted to love it the same. This is a thing that has survived every single culling ever. Why have you kept it? Fuck, excuse me, knows why I've kept it. Why <laughs> we did this for Closet Confessions last year. I can't remember how. I just know these are really lovely dresses that I'm going to keep. Yes, so this is like your special dress Yeah, cupboard. this is like, you know, like I've got the dress I wore for Charles' daughter's wedding, which oh, I love yeah. and I'll wear again. So, oh, mm. have you seen this? Oh. <gasps> this is so beautiful. Oh, wow. This is Ellie This is like, I'm waiting for Lila to have, but I'm not going to wear it now, am I? So that's what is it? Guys. Oh. What? I just want, I haven't seen it before. It's right. pink. Do you want to see it? <laughs> it's like really short here. And really long at the back. No, it's gorgeous. Okay, but we're going to go downstairs then. Yeah. Okay, downstairs. This is a Zach Posen dress. No, Prenza Shula. Mm. Which is a beautiful dress, but it's that shape, which mm. I would never wear again. Ooh. Um, and it's really, really pretty. And I think it's for Lila at some yeah. stage. Yeah. So I think that's downstairs. This is Saint Laurent um, jumpsuit. Wow. I might try it on again to see yeah. how it is. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because I think we should look at these and see. You know, what about the one next to it? Where is this, I love this. That's stunning. This is a kinder dress. Let's try wow. another one. Yeah, I know. This you've seen, this is a Valentino one. Mm -hmm. Like that, which is very classic. But you see, because I've kept it a bit messy, things like this really need a thick hanger and I need to have few dresses on thick hangers because this is not good on a thin hanger mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. the linen. So I, if I want to keep this looking good, I have to change the hanger. So we'll come back to that. That's that cupboard. This is the last cupboard. Now I just want to say, my suggestion here, Jemima, is that part two, I'll try some of those on and we'll do another few floors. How does that sound for you? That sounds brilliant. Because we've been taking a long time doing this closet. I mean, there are quite a lot of clothes. I know there are. But... I hope you're all getting tips because it should be tips that are relevant, whatever the size of your cupboard. It's how you think about your clothes. Mm -hmm. In here are uh, coats that are really special. And... Um, so there's some which are quite old and some advanced. So this is a really old Prada coat. Um, and this is not for me anymore. That, it's beautiful, from Alice Templey. That is gorgeous. And it's a really just fabulous thing. This is my favorite black coat. That looks stunning on. I love the different buttons. I know, they're so pretty. And this I got in the Nesha Porsche sale. I got it 80% off. Wow. Just gonna check That's there. clever that you can just add like different buttons to coats you've already yeah. got, yeah. just I like know. change them it's up. It's a really good idea that, yeah. actually, Jemima, that you can just think of that as a concept which was done by Givenchy. They're gorgeous. And, and Givenchy's clothes are so expensive. I would never, ever buy them. 
normal price in my life. Black Zara cape, but just chic and clean. Mm -hmm. This is another one and I think I don't need two. Which one do I keep? Um, I like I, the first one. Yeah, I oh. do too. Yeah, I, I do, do like too. it with it's other just yeah, yeah, I do too. I think so. This is a really old Chloe coat. This is a really old Alaya coat. It's just oh, a perfectly behaved though. coat. You know, and it has this panel at the back where there's just one opening. The cape that we got last year from Zara, you can see half I've worn it and I'm getting rid of it. Oh. Yeah, I am. I am. So, I think, we're done. I think we're done. Now, my thought is this. We could continue next week. I think it might be a plan. It's the beginning of the year and um, I will probably go through and cover what anyone might have in any of their wardrobes and any emotional thought they might have about whether they should keep something or not. That's definitely what's happening next week. Yeah. So think now, what have you got? How much do you love it? You know, that we love the Murray Kondo. If you brings you joy, keep it. But many things can bring us joy and sometimes we don't need so many things to bring us joy because then we don't see the joyful things enough. Totally agree. Mm. But we've got a lot more to get through. Oh so. my God, I'm exhausted <laughs> by this. I need to go and have a glass of water. But until next week, bye. bye.